We're going to the only Bitcoin ATM in all of Botswana that I know of. Wow. Yes. Have you it's used right it? around the corner. Have you used it before? No, never. Okay. Never. It's uh, a little too expensive for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my God, it's there. It's there. Jesus, mother of Lord. Hola, yo me llamo Paco y soy de la India. My mission is to run around 40 countries by just using Bitcoin. Join along to see how I eat, live, travel with Bitcoin. Ooh. Huh. Bro, this is so cool. We need some good photos with this. Why is there Bitcoin cash? <laughs> no Bitcoin. Oh my God, let's do this, man. Let's do fiat Bitcoin. to Bitcoin and go to buy Bitcoin. Accept. I've got my wallet ready. Hey. Receive. Checking. One moment. Insert of. Oh! Bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> It's a little expensive. Dude, why would I do this? Why would I do this? Have a promo code. What is this a promo code? What is this? Let's try Paco. No. What is this nonsense? 100. That is like almost $10 as a fee. <laughs> They're selling it also as a premium. Premium is like 20%, not much. But what the hell? I am not paying 100 pula to get 50 pula. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't add up. Doesn't add up, man. Doesn't add up. But yeah, when this is nice, they have a Bitcoin ATM at least. Yeah. So yeah. We're trying to support. We're trying, trying to, to support, support, but yeah, it's just too expensive. Too expensive. Woo. Siam. <laughs> Crazy life here in Botswana. All right, brother. Tangi. Ciao. Bye bye. All right. Now let's head back. Got to catch up on some work. But that ATM was really expensive. Charging hundred pula. The transaction fee was too much. So I'm gonna like. Maybe if I'm around here, I'll try again. But till then, let's go. Hi, good morning. This is 22nd of July, day 309, I guess. I'm here in Botswana and I'm just going to get something which I'd never had before. And that is become a sovereign individual from foundation devices. This is what is my cold storage wallet is going to be. I have got myself a QR code. I mean, a special code and not your keys, not your coins goes really well. So let's just go and just order. And it's goes to add to cart. All right, I've just added all my details. I'm going to continue to shipping. It's a free shipping. I am using, oh wow, it says 10 to 12 working days. Boom, it's done. It says processing July 22nd. This is my special code done. And the address is done. All right, so just got myself a foundation device. And first time I'm gonna have myself a cold storage wallet. And they say it will take about eight to 10 days. I've shipped it to Nigeria, so fingers crossed if it reaches there. And if not, we'll be in touch. Anyways, thank you, foundation device. This is not that big of a capital city. A lot of shopping malls and malls and malls. But Gaborone is a very quiet, quiet city. Let's see how the weekend goes. I have a couple of meetups planned up for today evening. One and then tomorrow, then one other one I will do. I'm gonna fly in six days from here. Botswana. So, so curious of this country. Hi, what's up? Hi. What's your name? Oh, Alagana Nigrele. Oh, just call me Bitcoin lady. <laughs> uh, when did you first hear about Bitcoin? Yeah, the first time I heard about it, it was 2012. I think the early 2012, that's when I started like, not heard actually, but read about it. So I read about it online. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, when did you first buy Bitcoin? Hmm, the buying part. I don't remember if I bought my first Bitcoin 2013 or 2014. That's why I'm really, really not very certain because most of the Bitcoin I had by then were the ones that were given by people. Okay. So yeah, so I don't remember actually. Okay, so what have you been doing with Bitcoin ever since? I live with Bitcoin. I think that's that's why my life my life is based on Bitcoin. Like I told you uh, before, I'm not doing any kind of job. I don't wake up in the morning to go to anybody's office. Ah. So whatever that I do, I do in Bitcoin with Bitcoins. So I receive like some help ah. through Bitcoin for ah. me to run the Satoshi Center, which I believe you have seen. So everything that I do is is Bitcoin. I'm able to like survive. No. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Why do you believe in Bitcoin? 
the ability for me to control my money and uh, the fact that there's nobody who will wake up in the morning and decide uh, today they're going to be dumping my money or mm. printing more money and devaluating my money. Mm. So, and uh, I, I believe a lot of African countries, we do really need Bitcoin. Okay. And also a lot of people do need Bitcoin. Right. Yeah, because um, with my, the way I've been studying cryptocurrencies and stuff, I tend to believe the one coin that is really, really decentralized is Bitcoin. I think that's the one that is really the others i've been trying to to see if they're really decentralized but i'm not yet convinced like i'm not yet convinced with ethereum is decentralized because of aws and all that and all that so for me it's something that is secure all right bitcoin awesome the last one any advice of future bitcoiners get inside get into bitcoin <laughs> get right. into bitcoin that's the future right there yeah there's no better future than that one awesome all right yeah. So what's this Bitcoin thing and what's happening? And locally, yeah, there was the Bitcoin lady. I saw a video of her on YouTube, just on that sofa recording. Talking